Hi, I'm Rebecca from Ingvid. Can I ask you a question? Or, could I ask you a question? Is there a difference between these two ways of speaking to you? Well, actually, in English, there is a difference. And in this lesson, you will learn the difference between these two very commonly used words, can and could. I'm going to explain to you exactly when to use them, how to use them, how to pronounce them correctly, which is really important because you want to make sure that you're conveying the right information. So stay with me till the end and you will learn exactly how and when to use can and could. So let's begin. So first of all, these two words, can and could, are the same in many ways, but they're also different. Let's look at the ways in which they are the same. First of all, they have the same meaning. They express many different things, including being able to do something. All right, we're going to look at many different ways that we can use this word, but they basically have the same meaning. Next, both of these words are modal verbs. So grammatically, they are the same. Next, they both use the same forms. So we can use them in sentences, we can use them in questions, no problem. And they're both used for similar purposes, such as to express the ability to do something, to make a request, to ask permission, to make an offer, to make a suggestion, or to discuss or talk about a possibility. Okay? So these are the ways in which these two words are the same. However, what's important to know is that they are also different in very important ways. One of those ways has to do with the time that we're referring to, and the second way has to do with the tone that is conveyed when you use either can or could. So let's start by understanding these differences. First, let's talk about time. What do I mean that it refers to a different time? A different time means, in this case, the present or the past. For example, I could say to you, I can play the piano. It's a little bit true. Okay, so if I say I can do something, such as I can play the piano, what does it mean? I can do it now. I can do it in the present, correct? So we're talking about this time, the present. However, can is the present tense and the past tense of can is could. So that's one way in which they're different in terms of time, that could is the past tense of can. So if I say to you, I could play the piano when I was young, but now I haven't played for many years, so I kind of forgot. I can play now, I could play probably in the past, okay? That is one way to use it. There are many other ways, but this is where the difference has to do with the time that you're talking about, the present or the past. Got it? We're going to look at more examples, don't worry. Next, it also has to do with tone. When we say can or uh, could, the tone of the conversation, the way that we're expressing ourselves is different. That means we're either being more casual or we're being more polite. Which word do you think is more polite? It's the word could. Can is more casual, more informal. We use it, we use it, we definitely use it, but if you're speaking to someone else, perhaps if it's somebody you know really well, you could say can. If you want to be a more polite person in general, you could use could with everyone that you know, including your family and uh, friends and, and relatives and managers and, and colleagues and clients, okay? Definitely in more polite and formal situations, you would like, you should be using could, okay? Not can. Let's look at an example. You could say, can you help me? 
It's not grammatically wrong, but the tone is more informal. Or you could say, to be more polite, could you help me? Now, of course, you could always add the word please, but can you help me, please? Could you help me, please? This one is still more polite. Whenever we say could, it's always going to be more polite. Or can I help you? That's more on the informal side. Or could I help you? More on the formal side, more on the polite side. Okay, got it? So this shows you that we can use can and could to do with time and tone, and there is a difference. Now let's look at how this works when we're making these kind of, um, we're, we're creating these kind of situations or we are in these situations and we're asking permission or making a suggestion and so on, and how all of this comes together with the words can and could. Now let's look at six different contexts in which we use can and could. I mentioned to you that we can use these words for different reasons, for different purposes. So let's look at six of the main ones and also examples of each and see, you can see, and you can hear how they sound different. Okay, let's begin. The first one, for ability. We could say, I can speak French or I could speak French when I was, when I was young. So that had to do with what? That has to do with time, right? I can speak French means I can speak French now, today, in the present. I could speak French when I was young. I'm talking about the past. So when we're talking about ability and we're using can and could, we're using the can in the present tense and the could in the past tense. Good. Now let's look at the others. Can you tell me where the subway is? Or could you tell me where the subway is? So here, and for everything from here down, this side is going to be the more polite version, and this is the more basic version. Okay? So, can you tell me, or could you tell me? Could you is always more polite, also more formal. Can you call me at 3 o'clock? Or, could you call me at 3? All right? Again, yes, it's the same uh, request. However, it just sounds much nicer on if you use could. Okay? All right. Are you wrong if you use can? No, you're not wrong. But definitely in more formal situations, uh, you want to use could. Next, for permission. We could say to someone, can I borrow your book? Or, to be more polite, could I borrow your book? We could say to someone, can you lend me your book? Or, could you lend me your book? All right, again, we're talking about basic and more polite. Next, if you're making a suggestion to someone, we could say, we can meet at the coffee shop. Or, we could meet at the coffee shop. Can you hear the difference? I hope you're starting to hear and feel the difference. Again, you know, at various points, you could stop the video or go back after you've watched the video to this part, to this board in particular, and say these sentences aloud for yourself. That way you will feel and hear the difference. And I want you to start to feel that way so that, so that you start using could whenever you want to be more polite or whenever you need to be more formal. Okay, so definitely repeat these sentences, go back, make up your own sentences. We could meet at the coffee shop. We could meet at the hotel. We could meet at the office, right? There are many, many ways in which you could use this board to improve your English. Another example of a suggestion. You can send me the report tomorrow. It's basic. Or you could send me the report tomorrow. It's a little bit nicer. I would prefer if someone spoke to me like that. Okay, next. Here's to talk about possibility. They can take the train or they could take the train. It's a possibility. 
And the last one here is an offer, when you're making an offer to someone. For example, I can pick you up from the airport. That's nice. It's still nice. Or even nicer, I could pick you up from the airport. Okay. So here you see that many different ways in which we can use the word can and could. Now let's look at how to pronounce these words correctly and easily so that nobody misunderstands you. Because if you're trying to say can, or if you're more important, if you're trying to say, I can't pick you up, they have to hear you properly. So this is a really important part, the pronunciation. Let's look at it. Before we get to the pronunciation, let's just review very quickly the grammar of using these two important words, can and could. So because they're modal verbs, we just use the subject, the verb can or could, and then the verb, the verb in its base form. You don't need to change it at all, okay? So we would say something like, I can work, I can work on Sunday, or they can work on Monday, like that, okay? Or he could work on Friday. Or if it's a question, the same thing. The main point is don't change the verb, okay? The verb doesn't have to change when we're using modal verbs. So we could ask, uh, can you work on Tuesday? Could you work till five o'clock? Like that, okay? So that's the basic way that we use these verbs. Now for the pronunciation. So what happens if we're just gonna say the word, then the word here is actually can. Say it after me, can. But in real life, we're not going around just saying words. We're using those words in sentences, correct? So it will usually sound something like this in North American English. I can call you. Say it after me, if you like. I can call you. So it got kind of condensed, right? Now this is obviously not the spelling. None of the red words here are the spelling. It's just kind of I'm trying to write for you how it sounds, okay? I can call you. Next. This is, the, this is the very important one, when you cannot do something, okay? So here, if we're just saying the word, we say can't, can't. There should be a difference when you say can and can't. It's really important to say that last t sound, okay? So here we go. I can't call you. Now here I'm emphasizing it. Let me emphasize it first. I can't call you at three o'clock. I can't call you. If you're trying to say that it is not possible for you to do something, even in the sentence, you may want to emphasize that part, that word that shows people that you cannot do something. So make sure you're saying the T. It'll sound like this when North Americans and native speakers are saying it. I can't call you. I can't call you. You might not hear the T, but when you're saying it, make sure you're pronouncing the T, or you have another option. If you're not sure if you're pronouncing the T or not, or if it's not clear, or if people are mis misunderstand when you're speaking, then just say this instead. I cannot call you. I cannot call you at three, but I could call you at four, okay? So that's another way to get around it if you find that people misunderstand when you're saying something. Next could. So this becomes also kind of shortened. I could call you. I could call you at four. Say it after me. I could call you at four. So it gets really condensed. And this couldn't becomes, I couldn't call you. Sorry, I couldn't call you. My phone died. Or Sorry, I could not call you because my phone died. All right? So make sure that you're also pronouncing these critical words correctly. And again, if you'd like to do more lessons like this, in my course, Correct Your English Errors 10 Minutes a Day, we tackle words and situations like this and common errors that you can fix easily once you recognize how to do them, okay? How to correct them. So all the best with your English. Bye for now. All the best.